Welcome to the report commentary direct. With me on link today, I've got Christopher Cook, CEO of Carbiotics. Hello, Christopher. How are you doing? Hi, Kaiser. I'm doing very well. Thank you. So we're going to talk about the Q3. And as always, let's begin with a look at the numbers. Net sales mm. amounted to about 50,000 sec compared to 35,000 last year, same quarter. And the financial mm. result amounted to around minus 2 million compared to minus 1.5 million. Is this in line with your expectations? Yeah, it certainly was. Uh, 2020 was always going to be an inflection year. Uh, for carbiotics, both with regards to uh, getting in place the uh, diagnostic services, uh, as well as uh, beginning to scale up the uh, production of our of our modulators. In the first case, uh, with the the prebiotic fiber axis. And how has your company been affected by the pandemic so far? Well, as you know, we introduced furloughs uh, for a period of six months, starting in the spring. Uh, and uh, quite recently, we're sort of getting out of that phase and we're ramping up our activities with hires. And uh, actually, it's, it's created uh, a scenario where people are reflecting more upon their health. And we know that 70 percent of the immune system sits in the gut. So it's actually uh, starting to turn in our favor in the sense that we're getting more attention or gut health is getting more attention. I also know that you managed to secure finance of 10 million Swedish kroners. What will you be spending the money on and how long do you think it will last? Yeah, uh, as, uh, as we did last year and uh, again this year, uh, we're always financing at least 12 months ahead. And uh, those funds have been earmarked for the three core activities in the company. Uh, the first activity is re in relation to the diagnostic platform, further development and the rollout of that platform. Uh, secondarily, uh, access fiber, so going through the reg work, uh, as well as the scale up of that particular product. And then obviously beginning to make progress with regards to uh, the medical food and the therapeutic development. So let's talk a little bit about the development within the diagnostic platform OneGut. Tell me, tell me more. Yeah, uh, as I said, uh, this year is is uh, is definitely an inflection point when it comes to uh, that particular service. Uh, when we launched the service originally, it was a direct to consumer service with sales through our website. Now we've come over that sort of hurdle, so to speak, and now we're only selling through our link up partners. And making that transition was a difficult step, but I think it's a much more sustainable model going forward where we're only going to be selling through our, our link up partners as a white label provider. Uh, so that's something that uh, was a, a challenge and we met the challenge and now we're very well positioned to sort of scale that up and the pipeline looks very favorable as well. I know that you've also made development with your corn fiber product, Axos. Tell me more about this, please. Yeah, that's correct, guys. Um, as, as we communicated earlier this year, we completed the enzyme development work on the fundamental side and then the optimization work as well. And then uh, we started working with a, a pilot site at Lund University and we're making definite progress there to produce material for uh, two studies that we've communicated in the CBD and type 2 diabetes areas. And uh, very soon we'll have a, a, a communication and plan in place in terms of the next scale up phase. And I think this is very important for us because as I communicated earlier, uh, my ambition and the ambition of the company is to extract as much value as possible from the different modulator categories and use the diagnostic service as a competitive advantage to establish relationships with potential uh, modulator customers, starting with this access food ingredient. So is this what you're focusing on right now, the scale up of the access fiber? Yeah, uh, uh, three key areas. The first area is uh, uh, on the access side is the completion of the red reg work and then uh, getting to that next uh, stage regarding the, the, the scale up, extremely important. And uh, obviously on the diagnostic side, it's the continual development of that platform. It will never end. We'll continue to improve that platform. And, uh, and uh, now it's time to, to obviously roll that out as well. Uh, and then on the therapeutic development side, as I mentioned before, it's time to make strides when it comes to uh, both the medical food and uh, the, uh, the therapeutics we're developing in the same disease areas.
the final question before we wrap up this interview. Where do you hope to see carbiotics in, let's say, five years? Yeah, uh, obviously, I hope that uh, Carbiotics uh, will be a, a profitable company with substantive market share uh, in the core business area. So on the diagnostic area, uh, which today is a market of about 100 million euros uh, in the prebiotic business, which is a 5 billion euro market uh, in the medical food area, which is a 15 billion euro market and then this early development of the microbiome therapeutic market uh, to get a, a significant market share in those areas as well as a, uh, a as a co-treatment or complementary uh, product um, so that's the ambition is to be successful in all those four markets and i think that we're extremely well positioned right now with very well uh, competitive technologies in the diagnostic area we have a service which is uh, the same cost as others, but potentially up to three times more reliable. Uh, in the prebiotic area, we have a prebiotic axis that's up to 10 times better than at market products. And uh, we think that we can take those competitive advantages into the medical food and the therapeutic development areas as well. Uh, so I think that we're extremely well positioned now. And this is not a case of uh, fundamental development anymore. This is a case of implementation. And uh, I think that because we have the resources we brought in uh, during the month of September, we're very well positioned right now to, to capitalize on these opportunities. Sounds great. Thanks for joining me today, Christopher, and I wish you good luck taking Carbiotics further. Yeah, thank you so much, Kaisa. Have a good day.